I don't know if I said it before, but those uh, birds that fly by that sound like crickets, those are hummingbirds. I started hearing them in Taos, and I'm hearing them up here too. They're they're more Midwest, because they're quiet in Wisconsin. I could see why there's more red squirrels around here, because the wood, the wood looks more red in the soil. Yeah, no matter how high you climb, you're not going to be able to see the town with all these trees in the way. Well, I just hope that King's Crown kind of has intersections or finds its way back to town. I think I'll just go. I did not bring my GoPro. This is pretty level though, anyway. But uh, yeah, the GoPro would be an advantage on the handlebars. And there's a beautiful hill again, beautiful mountain. It's kind of a back road, red soil. So beautiful. Yeah, there's gonna be a drop somewhere. I did a lot of climbing. I can look down. A lot of houses smattered. Whoops. <laughs> really planed out. Yeah, there's a house on the side of the hill. Wow. This looks very new. Still being still being built. They must yeah, they must have a nice deck. No roof though. Maybe that'll be next. You can't have a deck with no roof out here. can't enjoy those rainy days outside just huge window panels all for a private residence there's a house wow that's just standing like a castle doesn't at all look like one this is a heck of a driveway a very special place like an apartment complex it's a cabin So cool. This would be like the shelf. You're on a shelf. And Adobe, holy crap. They, f they figured that an Adobe style out here is a good idea. I would want slanted roof. But I mean, te today's technology can withstand a lot of heavy rain conditions, heavy snow conditions, I suppose, even with an Adobe style. A lot of businesses are shaped like flat roof style <clears throat> wow this is so neat I gotta stop recording there's an adobe again yeah I guess maybe I just curve back and then I'll hit that super super angled road okay I ain't never seen a real estate agent advertise tax incentives. Incentives. Is that because it's next to the Goodwill? All right, we'll have a look in. All right, they're not even open. It doesn't look like. Open at 8:30. Well, Safeway's open. I wonder if lactic acid and malic acid can work together in harmony. I'm gonna experiment with that. Bang energy sold at the loaf and jug? That seems like opposite connotations.
Right, so I've decided I want to crush these apples and toss them in. It's halfway full. I get a little powder from grains in it, but that should be fine. I'll ferment too. Here we go. Takes about 10 minutes per apple. It's a slow process, but it should be worth it. Oh yeah. So I'm park where I can really hear this music. It's just been listening to it as I sew. It's really neat how they can just sing out here and you just have that such a massive mountain backdrop. And usually having a barrier like that would help for echo, but those mountains are so off in the distance. I don't think they have any effect. The illusion of the effect though is there. All right, for my heart formula, I wonder if it'd be a good idea to crush up aspirin and then mix it with the cayenne. I put the cayenne in the aspirin bottle, so I want to start carrying it around again for one. And then for two, I just don't want it spilling. So a lot of these herbal jars love to, love to open up easy. Not this thing. This is my go-to for heart issues and I felt a slight heart issue today I would have turned to this if it was available I need to carry it again so the city markets in their parking lot they were discouraging this driving behavior but here at this park you just got to come a half mile in he could do it and nobody really seems to do it but I haven't paid close attention I wonder if fermentation pots didn't get popular because people when they get in disagreements with each other they'll just they'll start poisoning the pot could be a trust issue see I came in and just settled on city market <clears throat> When there's, when, yeah, they have bathrooms. <laughs> there, there, you have this, and then that park. You could park at, and it's not as uh, heavily used, but it's just not not as noticeable to newcomers. So as welcoming as they are with the RV parking, they do have a no camping sign too. They could make that more clear for the RV parking and say no, only day, day use only or something. All right, metal wheels, probably rubber tires. Is a felony. 
These word locks are fun. Maybe Wendy is it. This is the only place I see this sign. I don't think it's even been 12 hours with the apples I had. Three apples in here. Not even 12 hours and it's all bubbly and slightly fermented. It's a good taste. I'm just eating it down like it's nothing. I might want more jars. Alright, so I moved over to Walmart from behind that loaf and jug because of the cop. Yeah, I felt sick. I felt sick for about a couple of minutes and then it kind of went away. I think it's the shifting of the of the gallbladder. I think that there's there's um, some weird shifting going on with uh, the fullness of this gallbladder. And it's like maybe it's pushing on a sickness nerve or something weird. This is an impressive pile of car trash, <clears throat> an engine, lots of brakes and joints. Alright, I thought I could save time with the board crushing these apples, I have three in here, but it's just, it's soaking up the juice and it's flipping them too much all over the place, so I think I gotta go back to the mortar and pestle. Apparently these guys went out of business, uh, not quite a year ago. Hmm. Looks like some kind of fast food joint with double, oh there's a better sign to read, with double drive through windows. Huh. Gosh, who has the square sign? I don't know who this is. Will no longer be open as of. Huh. I don't know. Who's got the square sign? Check out the roof. Are those knocked down on purpose? This would be like the playground area. I think this is a McDonald's. With the square sign? Now that sign is circle over there, and it's square here. I don't know who this is. They've done a good job keeping it uh, a secret. But it was October 2018, so I could do street view on Google Maps, find out who this is, who this was. I mean, they're in a good spot. They must have had disagreements with the, the property owner for the shopping district. This Goodwill serves coffee, books and brew. It looks like it's free. Right, just at Goodwill, got a few things. I want to support my fermentation. I don't have any extra jars for for this stuff it's over there somewhere oh yeah I just need I just got some support uh, things like this to skim in there all right I'll get in the jar and pull out the the material a little bit easier than my tiny spoon and then also this is this is kind of a rare find but a tomato press it's the mortar and then they even had a pestle too. So I could just sit and crush away at, at uh, various juicy things. So that should work out pretty good. I'd like to play with that. I've been wanting to play with something like this for a long time. It's just now figuring out how to best use it. 
It really takes a lot of lemongrass to make a good tea. I, I practically fill the cup full of lemongrass for that taste. Well, I'll say that this wooden uh, pestle is a little bit better than the stone one. I got better grip at least. These deer are pretty big compared to other objects. They rival the, the elk. So here's the loaf and jug and I parked behind next to the fence. It's such an open area and they're protecting it physically. Look at these loafers. These guys could hang out around here, but I can't park my car. Preferential treatment. All right, crushing oranges is a bit of a mess. Do it one at a time. Crush in this thing. I'm not keeping the pulp. Toss it in here. It's already got the apple juice fermented and cabbage and various peppers, I think. Um, doesn't taste very good with uh, after four oranges in here that are fresh. Uh, maybe it'll improve if the oranges can ferment. I gotta admit that the eating of fresh oranges is not as good as uh, after having all those fermented apples. Um, and much desire to have that fermented fizzy taste in these. They're not that appetizing for some reason. I'm, my taste buds are ruined. I'm about to take the next exit. Nice and green around here. Looks like there might be a, a creek on the right, but I don't see the. Oh, there it is. You know, my lemon, what is it, lemon leaf? I don't know, it just smells good. It smells really good. Alright, now I'm feeling pressure in my ears. 40. First exit. I'm getting to the library an hour early. It opens at 10, from 10 to 7. That seems like good hours. I'm just a little nervous about where to sleep. Yeah, and um, I, I'm pretty sure that that first Walmart in Colorado Springs is very unfriendly to overnight parkers. So I probably have a better chance. Manitou Springs, elevation 6412, I got 6500. Somebody's wrong. 15 miles an hour on a roundabout. That I go straight through it. Nobody behind me, haven't passed anybody. Manitou has no franchises. Ooh! Ooh, gotta really hit the brake. Ooh, and it seems like I'm having difficulty braking. There's a lot of cars parked here on the right. Apparently there's a historical spot I just didn't uh, pay close enough attention to. Still dropping, 6370, residential parking zone, residential, residential permit required at all times. At all times? You need residential permit? Oh my god. It's still that way, and it's just getting tougher. Two hour parking. Manitou is tough. Oh no. Pay to park? Oh my god, it really got tough. I don't think I'll be able to find a parking spot. I'll have to go way beyond the library, I think, the way things look. Pay to park? 2501, text 2501 or something? The library is still a ways down. Free shuttle stop. Pay to park. Colorado Springs is... Pr 
probably brings a lot of traffic over here. The library is coming up really quick. And there's still a lot of pay to park. Oh my god, what the heck is that? Jeez. Tenant parking only. Pay to park. Remember your license plate number. Pay to park. Jeez, Colorado is awful around here. I don't have to stay here, but just trying to explore around is not going to be easy. Motorcycle parking only, pay to park, libraries. Yep, that's it. I'm going to take a right and then just start going into the residential and seeing, seeing where, oh my god, it's a climb though, which is kind of good. Because that means less people. Nobody behind me. Oh no, the parking. Uh, let's see, no parking school days. No parking of over two inches of snow. Uh, no, there's no turnaround up here. Uh, nobody behind me. Oh, oh. I don't see any regulation for parking up here. Usually on the top of hills, that's pretty good. All right, um, slow to the right, slow. Uh, no, I'm just, okay, somebody was parked on the side of the road and there's no regulation. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yep, that's somebody's private property. You could possibly park there. Uh, this is so tricky. Somebody could come up behind right now and get me, clip me. Ooh, is that somebody? Okay, their lights are on in their house. It says slow. They're, oh, that's in front of somebody's yard. And there's somebody outside stop sign i cannot go into the city but what's residential like oh no oh how protective are these dead end to the left yeah that could be a good sign no it's not not exactly oh uh, they, they could they put traffic cones here they don't they want to keep that area clear and there's more traffic cones here. Um, they don't really use their traffic cones. Until I could find a better spot, I think I'm gonna take this. Oh, Jesus. That sounded awful. Okay, all right, so just uh, looking into this, uh, I walked around a little bit and now I want to uh, park in a spot that I've determined to be relatively safe. I'll find out if there is uh, serious concerns from the neighbors. <sighs> I like this spot right here. It's in the sun, but that's, you know, that's a risk you have to take. No! All right. Somebody just came up right behind me. Please no parking in front of their shed. That's not a problem. Mm. So I guess, yeah, I'll just kind of take this little spot and hope for the best. Keep a good distance away from the garbage. Ooh, I guess this this is off the road for sure. But let's make sure that we're extra off the road. And what's that sound? I got a lot of squeaking going on. There's a lot of creaking. I don't like the sound of that. 